Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys another DIY that I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a centerpiece for you guys. A centerpiece and with two candle holders. So let's get into the items that we need to start this DIY. Okay, I have this dish from the Dollar Tree. And I got this tall vase from the Dollar Tree also. This is from the Dollar Tree. And these glasses are from the Dollar Tree. They're in the drink section. And we have the beads and two candle holders. I'll be using these round foams and the foam ball. <laughs> and our bling wrap, you guys, from Totally Dazzled. And I got these lights, these LED lights from Dollar Rama, but they also have them at Dollar Tree. And I have these lights, I may use these. And we have some mirrors from Dollar Tree. And we have some flowers from Dollar Tree also. Red and kind of creamish color. Alright you guys, and we need to have our tools that we need. Glue gun, scissors, E6000. Alright you guys, let's get started. Okay, we have some red rhinestone. That we got from the Dollar Tree. I forgot to show you guys this in the beginning. But we're going to be using the red rhinestone and the blinged out silver rhinestone from Totally Dazzled. And we're going to go all the way around the drinking vases. I cut the bling wrap into single strands because the glass is not um, totally round. It has a funny shape. And in order to get the bling wrap all the way around, something that's not I guess in a particular straight vase, you have to cut them into strips. Then they will fit whatever you're putting them onto. If you just try to put it on with long one whole sheet, the top won't stick or the bottom won't stick. So when you cut them into these strips, it will fit whatever you're putting it onto. And this is the pattern so far. Now we're going to start adding the bling wrap to our candle holders, you guys. The bottom part of the candle holders. I'm just thinking about you, always dreaming about you, how you got me, yeah. oh no, oh no, we gon' stop by saying that you got me, girl, you know I'm starving, you know I'm tired And now, we're gonna add some glitter to the bottom of these vase. So we're gonna pour our Mod Podge. <laughs> and add it to the bottom of the vase and then we're going to add our glitter and bling out our candle holders next we're going to glue the tall vase to the bottom of this bowl with the E6000 you guys and now we're going to add some flowers to the bottom part of our centerpiece and now we're going to take this foam and just press it into the, the vase to get an indentation and then we're going to place the mirror on top of it so we can put it on top. I tried to glue it on by itself, you guys, 
but it wouldn't glue so I have to use the foam in order for it to stay up top and this is how the mirror with the foam turned out I added some bling from the King Soul wrap just around to co help cover up the foam and here I added the stones the little stones that we get to the um, strips of the rhinestone just to give us a little um, little more decor within the flower arrangement I just glued both ends down to the stone so I get a little loop to hang it inside the flowers I think it looks cute and now we're gonna add the gemstone going all the way around the mirror you guys And now we have to arrange our flowers going all the way around the foam ball. I'm just thinking about you. Always dreaming about you. And here we go, you guys, our red floral centerpiece. Yeah, <laughs> this is how it turned out. You can see, um, I switched out from the beige flowers and only added the red. And then I added our lead lights into the top part of the vase with our little gems. And the flowers at the bottom. And look at our candle holders, you guys. All nice with the glitter. It's nice and shiny with the glitter added to them. And then the red on top to match the flowers. I like how they turned out. The candle holders, they're just blingy. I really like them. And there's our beads hanging down <laughs> from the, the flower arrangement. And the lid lights look very nice. And of course our stones going all around there. Very nice, you guys. And I added some lead lights to the bottom also of the centerpiece vase. All right, everyone. I hope I've inspired you with this lovely red centerpiece that you could use for your wedding. You could use for your bridal shower any festive occasion you can use it for. Thank you for coming by and seeing my DIY today. And remember as always, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. Bye-bye everyone. And baby girl, if there's anything, anything I want you to know, it's just for you to know. Just for you to know. Send me one, yo. Just for you to know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm you. Just for you to know.